Inspiring wonder of Udragon. Land of adventure, land of excitement, land of a thousand thrilling tales. This is not one of them. I'm okay. Hi, kids. We're on the island of terror fighting the spider zombies. Ask him if they've been brushing their teeth. Duh, of course. 23 times a day. Fang hasn't. Her breath smells like the bad end of a donkey. Nuh-uh, like the good end. Mom, when are you coming home? Just as soon as we finish saving the world, honey. Mwah, hugs and kisses. And don't forget to floss! I hope they come back soon. I sure do miss them. I know, Fang. We all do. But thank gosh we have a master sorcerer like Uncle Oswidge to look after us. <laughs> Jabbers! <laughs> What's wrong, Uncle Oswich? What does it <laughs> look like? I've got a case of the Hiccats. <laughs> we gotta find a cure, fast! Why? Well, first, Oswich is clearly uncomfortable. And second, I'm a tiny bit allergic to cats. <laughs> Yuck. Does that feel as bad as it looks, David? Worse. There must be a cure for Hiccats. But what? What could it be? What? The Mystic M cures Hiccats instantly! We'll go see this Mystic M guy as soon as Dave starts breathing again. You coming, Candy Hun? Nah, I gotta look for somewhere new to hang out with my friends. I thought you guys liked, um, Bog Melon's place. Well, we had a bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! There's a rat hair in my dragon milk! How do you know it's a rat hair? The rat's still attached to it? I suppose nobody cares that I practically drowned in there. Hiya, dolls. Once you try a rat, you'll never go back. Ew! So, we gotta find a new hangout. Good luck with Oswich. Thanks. I think we're gonna need it. Thus, <laughs> our heroes soon find themselves at the palatial abode of the Mystic M. Open up! Barbarians at the gate! Who approaches the palace of the Mystic M? Woo, what a lovely sword. Do you mind if I... Malsquando? Well, I'll be a Sphinx's uncle. Hello, Oswidge. <laughs> he fainted. Faffy, maybe a little lightning will revive him. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. Hurry, hurry, bring him into my evil lair. Evil lair? Did I say evil lair? Oh, dear, no, I meant to say, um, not that, um... Regardless, bring him in! Oswidge, good old widgey. Yeah, yeah, small world. <laughs> well, gotta go. Why the hurry? Wouldn't you like to relive our marvelous times at sorcery school? You two were students together? Students? <laughs> Oswidge told you he was a student? Ooh, look at the time. Well, we should really be going. Oh, no, 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 no. I was a student. <laughs> Oswidge merely worked <laughs> in a cafeteria. <laughs> Pajabbers. Yeah, well, I yearm. No, oh, right, it's true. I never went to sorcery school. All these years I've been calling myself a sorcerer, and the truth is, I'm just a cook. <laughs> poor, poor Oswidge. To think, while I've built up a lucrative practice curing hiccups, you've wasted your life living a lie. So now you know my terrible secret. Hey, it's not so bad. At least Mal Squando can get rid of your hiccups. <laughs> Mm, it smells like tuna fish in here. Meanwhile, back in Udragor, Candy and her friends seek a new place to hang out. 
Unfortunately, the only place they can find is the clotted scuppers. All the life on the sea is the life for me. All the sharks and all the scurvy make you want to holler. There's nothing like a boat when you're barfing like a goat. Everything is better when it's coming up your throat. Oh, a life on the sea is the life for me. But even as Candy and her friends flee the tone deaf sea dogs, Mouse Grando is inviting our heroes to stay the night. No, 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 no. I insist. I will prepare your rooms at once. <laughs> oh, and do let me just cure those hiccups for you. I can't believe even a pathetic false sorcerer couldn't cure those himself. Ta-ta! Ooh, we get to sleep in a palace! Dave, I think this Mouse Guando guy is one of them evil sorcerers. Well, what makes you say that? He's got a big pointy collar. Guys with big pointy collars are always evil. And he said evil lair that one time. Oh, and I found this. Yeah, but he's got that fancy pants accent. Ooh, hubba hubba. What do you think, Uncle Oswich? Who cares what I think? I'm a worthless loser. Great, so it's settled. We'll stay the night. Later, as Dave and Fane slumber peacefully within Malsquando's palace... They'll be better off without me. I'm not a sorcerer. I'm... I'm nothing. <laughs> Dang it! The next morning, Dave and Fane discover that Oswidge has disappeared. Hey, Uncle Oswidge! Oswidge. <laughs> oh, I hear someone downstairs. Come on! But it's all dark and spooky down now! It was child's play to lure those foolish barbarians into my clutches. Now I will use the power of that enchanted sword to conquer the world! I laugh maniacally! <laughs> Remember how we talked about using your inside voice? Pajabbers! We leave our heroes to join Oswidge, who has given up sorcery for a job at PJ McFoodington's cafeteria. Let's face it, this is where I belong. The only thing I'm really good at. Hey, could I get some more swine lip casserole over here? Yo, you the man! <laughs> At this very moment, Candy and her friends arrive in search of a new hangout. Candy? Isn't that your uncle? Where? Whoa! Embarrassed to be seen slinging hash, Oswidge employs a sophisticated disguise technique. Hey, Uncle Oswidge. Is it me, or do you have more than the usual amount of filth on your face? Uh, what are you doing here, anyway? I have to tell you the truth, Candy. I never went to sorcery school. My whole life has been a lie. I'm not a sorcerer. What do you mean? You've got a magic wand, right? Yeah. You've got a pointy hat. Kind of pointy. You do magic? More or less. So, duh, you're a sorcerer. I am? You'll always be Uncle Oswidge the Sorcerer to me. You're right. Who cares if I don't have a degree? I can do magic. <laughs> Would you believe I meant to do that? Uh, that'll be my crystal ball. Yellow. Help! We're in Malsquando's dungeon. Save us! Could you bring some donuts? Go ahead. Try to save them, you pathetic cafeteria lumpkin. <laughs> oh, and if you do bring donuts, I prefer the jelly-filled ones. I can save them. I can! Barbarian, ba barbarian, ba ba barbarian. And now, the sword of power is mine! <laughs> What, you can't buy me dinner first? Behold, how the mystic powers of the sword and my magic wand combine to make me the most powerful sorcerer in the world! <laughs> All right, Mouse Squando. I'm here to save my niece and nephew. Also, I brought the donuts. They were out of jelly filled, so I got you a Danish. Oh, did you bring me an apple fritter? Wait, how about we have our climactic battle, then donuts? That's a good idea. It's conjuring time! Darn things on the fritz again. Observe how a real sorcerer does it! Crime it! Yes! I chihuahua! What? And now, Oswich, you shall perish! With <laughs> his magic clearly no match for Malsquandos, how can Oswich hope to prevail? Surely he is doomed! Doomed to suffer the... Do you mind? I'm trying to think. I'm so sorry. 
Hey, Matsquando! Think fast! <laughs> Not so tough without your wand, huh, Mr. Big Shot? That'll teach you to mess with the fastest ladle in the West, partner. Ow, 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 ow. Hot soup! Hot soup! All right, all right, Great, Great job! This is the last time I'm asking nice. Where's my apple fritter? And so Oswich has shown that any talent can be valuable. Even a really stupid one like that thing with the ladle. Hey! Yes, all has ended well. And Candy has even found a new hangout. You know, this place isn't so bad now that they hired someone to clean the floor. With his tongue. Fools, you shall all feel the wrath of the mighty sorcerer, Mal Squad! Ow! Keep licking, dog breath. Ow! Grit it out! <laughs> Looks like I'm a pretty good sorcerer after all. <laughs> hey! It's kind of nice in here. has come at last to the small, somewhat damp land of Udragoth. And spring means but one thing to a mighty barbarian hero like Dave. Spring cleaning! Time to clean the castle! It's Dave! He's... cleaning! <laughs> Hello, Dusty, my magical cleaning buddy. Are you ready for action? The filth can run, but it cannot hide. There is no escaping my awesome dirt destroying laugh! On guard, dust bunnies! What? No eviction notice? Do you have any idea what that scabbard smells like after he uses it? Well, this time I want it fumigated! So, Dusty, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You mean? Yes. It's time to attempt the mightiest of all domestic feats. Cleaning the fireplace! <laughs> ah! Ah! Let go! Let go! Let me guess, a string quartet? And they're not very good. Dusty, there's only one weapon mighty enough to take care of this. A sponge! <laughs> I should have left them in the fireplace. What's that horrible noise? A string quartet. Darn, I thought you were shaving a wombat. La, 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 la. You're still cleaning? We've been hiding in the woods for months. Do you realize I completely ran out of hair products out there? I'm just about done. The only thing I need is some castle polish. Well, I hate to encourage this filthy cleaning habit of yours, but if it'll help you finish, I just found this coupon for castle polish. You want to go shopping at the Fortress of Extreme Cleanliness? Do I? Huh? I'd rather kiss a camel with a rare lip fungus. When do we leave? Thus begins the quest for the precious elixir men call Castle Polish. I wonder why Candy didn't want to come with us. Bang! You said these musicians were cute! <laughs> for a full day and a night, and a day and a night, our heroes wander until at last they come upon the Fortress of Extreme Cleanliness. Ooh, ooh, I hope they're open late. Little did Dave know that behind the door was not a cornucopia of cleaning products, but the Dark Lord chuckles the silly piggy. The jabbers. Ah! Uncleanliness! Ha! Somebody finally fell for my castle polish coupon trap. Remember, you said no one would ever fall for it. Remember that, huh? Remember? 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 Well, hardy har har, Mr. Smart Guy. No, I'm not. I'm those two guys, and neither of me is the guy you're thinking of. You're Dave the Barbarian! You humiliated me in Jermaloon. <laughs> now I shall torment you forever throughout all eternity! Monday through Fridays with only two weeks vacation per year. You can take him, Dave! But he's got those pointy hooves. Dave! Okay, okay. Foul villain, cower before my mighty... broom. Eat bristles, filth monger! <laughs> uh, must have left the sword back at the castle. Uh, if I had ears, they'd be bleeding right now. Surrender, foul piggy, or I'll... 
tidy up. Hang, hang, hang on a second. That's a magic broom, right? Indeed. Uh-huh. And you can clean all those hard-to-reach places? Let filth everywhere quiver at my name. Hmm. The Fortress of Extreme Uncleanliness is a bit unclean. <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. It's a trip, Dave. Tell your monkey to mind its own business. I'm not a monkey! Dave the Barbarian, if you and your comrades perform for me a series of... What's the word I'm looking for? A way I can just pick it at heroic tasks, I will grant for you your freedom. How do we know you'll keep your word? I'm a dark lord of evil bent on bringing pain and suffering to an unsuspecting world. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? Anyway, your other option is to take your chances with the ogres. It is most unpleasant in here! I'll go with the heroic tasks. <laughs> Excellent. First, you must perform a task so loathsome, so hideous, so terrifying, that even I, the Dark Lord Chuckles, the silly piggy, recoil from the very thought of it. You must... Mob! Excuse me, uh, Mr. Dark Lord, did you say mop? Yes, mop! Mop until the floors run dark with rivers of suds. Mop as if your very lives depended on it. Mop it all! It's bad enough we have to mop, but these dorky outfits are too much. At least yours fits. This is horrible! <laughs> you bet it is. I just mopped there. Now I'll have to do it again. Faffy, more salt, please! And so our heroes are forced to complete Chuckles the Silly Piggy's fearsome tasks, such as dusting. Polishing. I'm all right. And the most fiendish, inhuman task of all, washing dishes. <laughs> Never gonna get out of here. Chuckles keeps giving us more work and Dave actually likes doing it. Don't be silly. He's just waiting for the right moment to pull off our dramatic escape. This is the happiest I've been in my whole life. I hope we never have to go home. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, I didn't think this would be necessary, but I have a clever plan to escape. And lo, Oswich did outline each and every brilliant aspect of his cunningly crafted escape plan. Once gravity has been restored, the brine shrimp return to their hot air balloon, and we escape disguised as Scandinavian circus roustabouts. It's so simple! Or plan B. We call Candy and ask for help. Yeah, sounds a little complicated. What is it? Candy! We've been captured by the Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy and he's forcing us to do horrible things and you're our only hope! Oh, it can't be that bad. No? Well, look at what I'm wearing! Oh, oh my gosh! What a hideous outfit! Nobody dresses my sister ugly. I knew we could count on you, sis. And so, Princess Candy races to save her family from the horrible menace of unfashionable clothing. Get your rope down here, villainous enemy of attractive clothing! I caught another one! Honey, remind me to get you another brain cell to keep the one you've got company. Hi, Candy. You can help with the heroic organizing the pantry task. Sounds like fun. Organize the pantry, yes we are. Organize the pantry, bum bum bum. A bum bum doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, should I stack the canned goods alphabetically or by food type? There must be some way I can accessorize this outfit. Maybe a purse or something would help. Hey there, how goes the clean, <clears throat> heroic tasking? Peachy swell. When I'm done here, I'm gonna wax the dungeon. Ooh, I like a shiny dungeon. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Dave. Unfortunately, <clears throat> The old guy and the flying thingy and the princess and the monkey. Not a monkey! They're not pulling their weight. So, as part of my staff restructuring program, I'm having them liquidated. Liquidated? No, <laughs> relax. It's just a technical term. It means I'm having them made into soup. Oh, well, everyone likes soup. Dave! <laughs> You're not dumping them in the soup, you fiend. Why, because they're your family and you care about them? Well... Yeah, there's that, but more importantly, I just washed that cauldron! Pestilent pig! Release them or suffer great personal discomfort! Ooh, I'm so scared! What you gonna do, sweep me to death? Never underestimate the power of a good broom! Ah, the dust! My little piggy eyes! I'm blind! Blind, I tell you! And my cape is simply ruined! Look at that, that's real silk, you know. Vile ogres! 
Prepare to taste the prickly bristles of justice! David, I'm proud of you. Yeah! Who knew a broom could be so cool? Just doing what I do best. Let's talk, moron! Ooh, castle polish. You haven't seen the last of me, Dave the Barbarian. I shall have my revenge! <laughs> oh, I, I think you ruptured my little piggy spleen. And thus were the forces of evil defeated by the forces of neatness. Later, after many months of heroic labor and many applications of castle polish... And it's clean! Ugh, done with spring cleaning at last. So, it's safe to come in now? You betcha! Look, the first flowers of spring. You've been cleaning for a whole year, Dave. But if, if it's spring again, that means... It's time to clean the castle! <laughs> Jabbers. The inside of this television is filthy. It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grubbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs.